Embodying the theme for the 43rd anniversary of St. Lucia's independence, Duva Assam, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Rural Development and Food Security, along with partner ministries of Health and Education, continue to make strides in achieving Sustainable Development Goals 2, 3 and 4, namely Zero Hunger, Good Health and Well-Being, and Quality Education through the National School Feeding Program. Deputy Director of Agriculture Services, Barry Innocent, says the program has provided many benefits to children, parents, farmers, the community, and the economy as a whole through the strengthened collaboration of key public and private sector agencies, farmers, and with communities in which the school feeding program is administered. This collaboration has taken place within the framework of policies that exist to add enhance food and nutrition security, school gardens, school feeding programs, and to also engage the youth in agriculture. A comprehensive school feeding policy has been developed and approved by cabinet, which among other things highlights recommendations for improvements of the school feeding program, including capacity building and institutional strengthening. A school feeding committee comprising representatives from government, non-governmental, and private sector agencies was established to provide oversight of activities within the school feeding policy and provide guidance on all matters related to school nutrition. The school feeding policy aims to ensure that every school child on the island is provided with nutritionally balanced meals during the school hours. And while the priority of the education ministry is to nurture the intellect of students, this renewed partnership between the ministries of agriculture, health and education ensures that the government of Sinusha's focus areas for youth development as it relates to their safety, security and well-being is placed into sharp focus under the work programs of the allied ministries. Food security and nutrition security are very, very critical aspects of national development. It is all well and good to have the infrastructure. It is all well and good for us to have thousands of visitors roaming the streets of Castries and, and, and venturing into the pocket communities to enjoy the scenery of St. Lucia. And that spells um, prosperity and economic growth, and it ensures that there's dollar circulation to be public servants. But equally important with those initiatives are the little things that I said that we take for granted. Our children being fed, but is it enough just to ensure that they have a meal? What about the quality of the meal that we give? And that is critical. Further enforcement for the school feeding program will come through the Ministry of Health support in the development of menus and nutritional guidelines for children in St. Lucia, and the promotion and expansion of school gardens and support mechanisms for smallholder farmers attached to the initiative. From the Ministry of Agriculture, this is Amanda Fee Clark reporting.